You can hear it's quite noisy and we will be going through uh, some overclocking on the L3 miners for mining Litecoin and see what speeds and what hash we get. Stay tuned. Hey, hey, hey guys, I hope you're all doing good and welcome back to Mining Hardware Channel. It's me, Guntis here. Uh, and yeah, as, as you can see the title, we will be testing out some overclock settings on L3 miners and see how profitable it is to overclock or is it even worth to overclock. Uh, just before that, I want to say everyone to be aware uh, to use the uh, MyEater wallet as it was yesterday compromised and the hackers attacked and uh, uh, they actually, what they did, they uh, um, um, compromised the DNS services um, that uh, you actually, when you go to um, yeah, myeaterwallet.com uh, URL, it actually took you to the uh, clone uh, website where the hacker stole your private keys and had access to your funds. Um, I hope nobody uh, from my channel lost their funds, but I just want to tell you uh, uh, to be aware of this and uh, cryptocurrency is a dangerous space you know and there will be a, such a cases more and more so i actually was using at that time when this happened i was using my ether wallet but i did what i did i was using it with a ledger nano s and uh, actually these devices are very safe to use because the private keys actually never leaves the uh, device and uh, yeah they, they are one of the safest uh, things to use um, so yeah, let's go into the uh, the uh, overclocking of the uh, L3 plus miner um, to my Litecoin. Um, so to overclock to uh, the miner, you just need to log into the uh, um, uh, miner into the IP address um, of the miner. Um, the the password on the default as usual is root and. Uh, username is root also and uh, to overclock you need to go to the uh, mining miner configuration and then to the advanced setting the miners has a, a default uh, overclock setting which is 384 megahertz um, at that at that overclock miner is getting uh, 503 megahertz of speed and it uses 804 um, uh, watts of power from the wall and also the temperatures on the chips is uh, about 49 to 52 degrees Celsius here in this building uh, the miner has been tested on uh, in the use you, you can see the miner behind I was testing here on this table and in the building is about it's about uh, around 20 degrees somewhere I, I, I would say about 20 to 25 degrees Celsius here and uh, I did test yeah, to in the same place to see how the temperatures change. So the next setting uh, uh, we'll be testing is the uh, uh, 450 megahertz overclock. At that overclock, our speed uh, increased by 100 uh, megahashes, so we are getting 100, 600 megahashes total. And uh, at the power usage is 920 to 930 watts of power. And also the uh, temperatures did increase uh, from uh, 49 to about 56 degrees of Celsius on the mining chips. Um, yeah, the, this test setting seems stable enough. Um, uh, so the next setting we are testing is the uh, 562 megahertz. And actually at this uh, overclock, uh, we were getting a 685 uh, mega hash out, out of the L3 plus miner, which is uh, I think it's great, but also the power use jumped uh, much more as uh, we only increased first time it, it uh, from the stock settings of 384. So the power use is now 1130 watts of power, and also the chip temperatures uh, also uh, went up from 56 to 64. Uh, Celsius and as you know that uh, uh, these L3 plus mi miners has a safe plug if you go um, go over 80 degrees on the chips it's just shut down 
shuts down. Um, so the final setting in the, the, the hardcore overclock was 600 megahertz. Um, actually, at this uh, setting, it seems like uh, the miner was overclocked too much, and we were getting only 300 mega hash uh, from the L3 Plus miner. And also, the power usage was uh, 900 watts of power, and the temperatures on the chips was about 53 to 55 degrees of Celsius. And uh, now let's go through some calculations because calculations really helps how to um, think forward and uh, get the maximal profits out of your miners. And uh, in, I really don't know how this works in the long term. If you are locked to maximum, probably your chips will die faster. Uh, but uh, also probably we'll, we will see actually how profitable it is to overclock if your miner will pay off faster uh, than it should at the um, stock settings. So let's take you into the calculator. Yes, yeah, so let's see, uh, does it make really sense to overclock the miners or will you be getting uh, more profit uh, from uh, them by overclocking? So on the default settings, which is 384 megahertz, um, you we are getting 500 megahash, and the power usage is 800 watts. Um, my cost is 13 cents here for a kilowatt, so um, you might have a different cost. Um, so you have to adjust yourself and do the calculations. Um, you can do just inserting the values of what I was getting with your electricity costs um, by overclocking the miners. So the daily profit is $2.88 um, on the stock settings. Um, so if we overclock, um, if we overclock the total will be, we will get 600 mega hash and the power usage is, if we overclock to 450 megahertz, uh, so let's say 900, no sorry, 600 mega hash, yeah, 920 watts, 920 watts of power, and that's $3.58. So yeah, that's that seems to be more uh, for about 60 more cents, and let's see the values on the 562 megahertz. So we are getting about 680 mega hash, and uh, uh, the power usage is uh, power usage is 1,120 watts. So again, we have a little bit more profits. Uh, we can see that we mine about 0.05 Litecoin a day, which is slightly more about um, about 30 percent, 20 30 uh, percent more profitable if you overclock more the the, the miner. So that that means that you'll repay your miner about uh, three times uh, faster than the. Uh, uh, Yes, then you usually uh, should 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 repay your miner. So yeah, I hope this helped for you. Um, about overclocking, I'm not really sure. I haven't tested yet these miners in the long term, but I assume if you do overclocking too much, they would do some kind of damage on chips. And you should also look what would be the temperatures on on them when you do overclock. So yes, um, this is how works the profitability and. Uh, I hope you did find value uh, from this video. If you did, then share with your friends. And uh, um, also, you can uh, subscribe to the channel and hit the like button if you haven't done that yet. And um, yeah, um, you are watching Mining Hardware channel and see you on the next video. Take care, guys.